Hello out there, I'm Bill Gifford and this is Gifford Marine and uh, the last time uh, we visited it was uh, working on the alternative generator or alternative fuel generator part two and uh, in that video I told you we'd be attempting to put the system into a car uh, we've done that uh, it's taken a month or so we have the car running and I'd like to go over that with you and show you uh, show you how we're making out Well, in the last video, I explained the uh, system to you and uh, the basics of, of how it worked in the, uh, in the generator. And in the generator, you got, uh, you got primary uh, bottles and you can use them with bubblers or you can put ultrasonics in them. And I mix gas and water and a lot of different things together. And you, you could do all that in this system too if you wanted to, but I have no desire to put water into the mix here and then not know how much I've got in a tank that I can't see. So um, what I've started out with is the primary tank here and everything's been made out of simple off-the-shelf parts that I can buy at Lowe's with the exception of electric fuel pump that you can buy at the automotive store um, and the entire system works like this. This is the, your, your, your primary bottle your gas pumps up to the bottom of that bottle. It gets to a certain height and then feeds into a tank that I placed in front of the radiator. Um, in the bottom of that tank, there's a sump and I put a pickup in there and I pump the gas back to the main fuel tank. I've taken the intake line from the tank or off the motor's fuel pump and run it in into here. So we're making one big circuit. Um, the fumes collect up here in the top. The fumes also collect down here in the top of the bottom tank. And then we control our valves and so on and so forth to get the air the way we want it so it can run. So far I've had the car up to about 50 mile an hour on the road um, it's not 100%, it's probably been 90%. My intention down the road is to get this thing so I can put it into the marine field. And, um, but so far, we've got good results here. We've got it running. Um, and I'm going to get some help as far as what to do as far as a computer goes. Um, and I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the uh, grill off of here. I've just got it on here temporarily. I'll take the grill off and I'll show you this front tank right now. So what we have now is the secondary tank. And this is a, a pickup that goes down into the bottom of the secondary tank that returns fuel back to the main tank. So one is the intake from the engine, from her main fuel pump, runs in here, drains off, comes down, down into this tank, it's pumped back by electric pump. I put a couple air intakes here, there's changes to be made, I know that, um, I want to isolate the return system from the intake system a little better, that's, that's the whole, that's the whole unit in a nutshell. Of course, this is to let fresh air get in right here to the carburetor if needed. And this is a little throttle body that I put together over here. We've got this when she pulls a hard vacuum. This will take more air in. And you've got a, you've got a throttle on the carburetor itself um, that works that. And that's that. I think what I'll do now is try and start it so we can hear it run and uh, go over a few more things. I'm gonna get down here now, and uh, if you just take a look down here, you can see that this is the intake for the carburetor right here. We put a little plug over top of it. She was picking up some uh, vacuum there. Of course, it's empty in there in the uh, float, but you can see that this is definitely off of there. Move it out a little bit. 
That's about as slow as I've gotten it as far as uh, our idle goes. Basically, there it is. This is Joe, my son Bill. These guys have been with me for years uh, and are a big help when it comes to uh, doing this type of work. We're always trying something different around here. I was going to show you the car that we're going to put the put it on next week. We're going to bring the car in here. We're going to operate on next week. Here she comes. We'll improve the mileage on that. Basically, there it is. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else I can. Uh, I can show you moving, and uh, maybe we'll do that so you can see that the car actually drives. All right. Okay, uh, basically I've gone over everything that I can with you. Um, uh, you know, it, I guess I started this project about a month ago, but as you can see, a uh, couple hundred dollars worth of parts and threw this together and it's working and it operates the car. Uh, we've been over little, little problems, little issues I've had. Um, the main thing being the sensors on the car itself. Uh, the sensors, I mean, which I don't know anything about. I was lucky enough to be able to, to reboot the system and uh, it's all right now. But if I was going to do this on a standard engine, I'd make sure that it didn't have any computers on it or anything like that. Uh, it's an absolute fantastic system for generators and God knows what else it can be used for but certainly proved it can be put in a car and operate. Um, now, my next, my next project is going to be to take it back and forth to work and uh, find out what kind of mileage I can get with it. I mean, obviously, that's important. And I, can't, I can't tell you what that is because I just got it going. And uh, I want to make sure a couple things that I've done here are protected, uh, are proprietary, um, there's a few things in here that, uh, you know, I can't just divulge everything there is. So, with that in mind, uh, if you keep, uh, stay tuned, we're going to, we'll, we'll put it back on again once I get some mileage figures and know a little more about it. Thank you.